Hello and welcome to Sue Family Designs. As you can see, I'm now back from my holiday uh, in Bali. Um, quite refreshed, I think. Uh, <laughs> this week's been a bit frantic trying to catch up with things and trying to get things back in order and I've not been as good as I am normally because I've sort of been finding it hard to get back into stuff but I'm slowly getting there. So the plan was to finish off the uh, golf ball one. I haven't even made a start on the second part of that so that will hopefully be a video uh, next week. But what I did do was I've done this three part um, beach scene because we've got, I've got coming up very soon the Mundaring Hills Open Studio which is six weeks away so between now and then I'm frantically going to be making pieces for the open studios. Uh, the open studio is not here at my home, it's at a friend's house, I've been invited as a guest artist so I'm going to be doing that. So over the next few weeks I'll be making pieces for that and I will film as much of that as I can to show you the process and everything like that. So without further ado, let's get into how I created this resin beach scene. Okay, so for this one I'm using three panels, uh, doing a triptych, and I've just mixed some resin in with the sand that I've got from the beach. Um, someone posted just this week that um, he thought that, that Australia was getting much smaller because I've been pinching some of the sand so you probably see on the map that um, West, Western Australia is starting to get a little bit smaller so anyway getting back to this so all I've done is I've mixed it in with the resin and I'm just going to spread this about uh, I started off using a stick to spread it about and then ended up using my fingers because I felt that I could move it about a little bit uh, more easily. Now the first little bit that I did I actually had, um, it was actually quite thick and wasn't moving so the second batch that I mixed there I used a bit more resin so it was flowing a little bit easier so but you can do what you like with yours if you want it thicker, uh, more rigid then use less resin in the sand um, otherwise if you want it to flow a little bit more freely on the board then use a bit more resin mixed in with your sand. Now you're probably wondering why I'm doing another beach scene because I've, I've done a video on this before. There's a number of reasons why I'm doing another beach scene. One is that and the beach scenes are good sellers and um, I sell quite a few of them and like I say I'm making stuff for the open studios but also because I get a lot of questions regarding the beach scenes um, relating to the waves and the lacing etc etc so I wanted to use this opportunity to go into more depth on what it is that, that I do to achieve the cells um, because this is something obviously that um, a lot of people struggle with so I wanted to go in like I say go into more detail on how I do this so hence why I'm doing another beach scene So for the background colour I'm actually just using two colours. I'm using Artie Sue Jade and Artie Sue Sapphire Blue. Now you can see that there's a slightly darker shade on the the, the jade there that I've just poured the, uh, on the second layer line. It's actually because that contains a little bit of the Sapphire Blue because I mixed some more of the jade. So I'm just doing a very subtle blend and the next pour I do is going to be just the sapphire blue and I'm just using my fingers to just gently blend those two colours to, together. Uh, I'm not, you know, I'm not um, being very careful or anything like that because we're going to go back and, and work on it a little bit more in a second. One of the first things you need to consider when you're attempting to create lace in the cells is the type of resin that you're using. The lot 
if it's a lot thicker then it's going to be much harder to move the resin so that when you blow the white you're not necessarily going to get lacing because there's not a lot of movement in there if your resin's too runny um, while it will move and you'll get nice cells when your board is leveling you may find that you'll then lose some of the cells and lacing so it's it's not an exact science but it there is a number of factors that is going to determine whether you achieve cells or not so as always I'm using the heat gun as I go just to zap any bubbles and I'm also going to use my fingers to move the resin now I'm not actually although you can see my hand going across here I'm actually um, just spreading that around slightly and then I'm going to start using my fingers to um, dabble the colors across to blend the two together because I don't want to swipe across so as you can see I'm dabbling my fingers to give a more watery feel to the background colour and that just helps to blend the two colours together so you don't have a hard line um, obviously unless you were doing a geode or something like that you don't want a hard line here because obviously with water it doesn't work that way so just like I say just using the fingers to just dabble the colours and not blend it too much because you still want definition between the two colours and then just touching up the edges just making sure that the edges are covered in the resin. So next I've, I've mixed another batch of resin um, not as much as the first because we're just going to do some highlights on this and I'm just pouring clear along the edge of the, the sand line and then just the odd line through the sea. Note I haven't let the bottom layer cure at all this is one of the questions that I get asked quite a lot is how long do I leave the bottom layer to cure before I pour this layer I don't I do this straight away as soon as I finish that layer I go away mix some more resin and I come back and pour the clear on top I also mix a little bit of the Lares white in with a small amount of the resin this is just this is not paint just poured on the top this is actually resin uh, paste mixed in with the resin and that is then just poured um, in lines across the top where I've poured the clear so just to um, so that the, the white is actually balancing on top of the clear and now using the heat gun on the highest setting because I want it to blow and I also want it to be really hot because the I want the the resin to warm up and move more freely so by warming it up but also being careful not to burn the resin so I'm, I'm, I am swirling it around and moving around I can always come back to an area if I feel it needs to blow a little bit more but note I'm not hanging around in the area for too long because I don't want to burn it um, and then I'm just moving it around and just letting it do its thing there's no other additives used here, I'm not using silicone, I'm not using anything else other than clear resin and the white paste in the, mixed in the resin on the top and then that, that's basically it. So what I'm going to do now is areas where it just needs a little bit more definition, I'm just going to add a little bit more white. I don't need to add any more clear to this because that's it's, it's fine as it is. So. But I am again going to add more heat and the swirling motion to just break that up. I'm not blowing it, I'm trying not to blow it around too much. Um, as you can see I'm trying to concentrate it. But by keeping the nozzle quite close to the resin, you're not over blowing your piece. So you're getting nice movement, uh, but not too much. And like I say, don't hang around in the area too long because you don't want to burn the resin. And as you can see, I'm just where I feel it just needs a little bit more. Um, and also, just because I, I'm trying to make it look like it is 
flowing across the three panels. So I'll go back and just add little bits, a little bit more here and there, just to make it look as though it flows across the three panels. So I mean, the the boards when they were curing, they the resin does run off a little bit, and it's not perfect, but you know you get the feel for it anyway, and it's um, it actually looks quite effective. Well, I hope this video has helped answer some of the questions that you've had regarding my previous beach scene video. If you like this video and would like to see more resin ideas, then please subscribe to my channel or better still, go and browse my other videos. I have other ideas to help keep you inspired. So until the next video, bye for now.